A sad day for the college football world as legendary FSU football coach Bobby Bowden passed away yesterday at 91 years old. While Coach Bowden impacted many people all over the country, he had a special connection to Panama City and the people here as well. You know, uh, when a person like that goes, whether you're a Florida State person, a Florida person, a Miami, whoever, uh, you know, everybody can, can sort of uh, appreciate a legacy like that, like Coach Bowden. When you think about Coach Bobby Bowden, the first thing that comes to your mind might be football or Florida State. But for the people that knew him or got to meet him, he was so much more than that. He's the kind of person that when you were in his presence, you knew immediately what a wonderful man he was and that he was going to touch your life forever. For former Florida State player and Panama City native Jared Moon, he was sold on playing for the Knolls after just one meeting with Coach Bowden. We just talk life. You know, he doesn't talk football at all. Uh, he, he wanted to know about me and, and things I'm interested in. And wanted to, know, you know, ask questions about everything but football. And he just really wanted to know uh, who his players were as people. Even though Bowden spent a long 34 seasons with the Seminoles and called Tallahassee home, many say his second home was here in Panama City. He brought his family here, 4th of July's, you know, holidays they celebrated, and he just loved spending time here and made a lot of wonderful friends and business owners and just, you know, boosters that he met over the years at football games. He loved it so much, he even bought a condo on Thomas Drive, then bought another at Carillon Beach. And over the years, he's been spotted at many different places. I was working at, uh, out at Bay Point when they were building the golf course, and we were working on the golf course in the summertime in high school, and, and the course didn't open until 9, but about 7 o'clock, someone's out there playing. I said, man, someone's out there playing that early. So I was cutting the grass, and I just wanted to see who it was, and it was Bobby Bowden playing. Other high school coaches in the area got a chance to visit with him at the annual Florida Coaches Clinic, where he was the headline speaker. And it wasn't because he was going to give us some great X and O deal. It was just he was going to make you laugh. He was going to make you feel good about yourself, and he would remember who you were, even though he probably didn't really know you. He made you feel like you were the most important person in the room, and you were his best friend. Coach Bowden will definitely be remembered for the legacy he left on the Florida State football program. But for him, it wasn't just about the wins and losses. It was so much more. Coach Bowden used football as, uh, as a ministry, and he, in many ways, uh, was a, a missionary in people's homes all over the country. Bowden spread the word of God all over the panhandle too and spoke to many in churches locally. Many people here describe him as a godly man who was strong in his faith. If you had any question about one person that's heading on that fast track to heaven, you gotta say Bobby Bowden's already up there. He didn't have to wait in line long. Although many won't get the chance to meet the great Bobby Bowden himself, his legacy lives on in the lives that he touched all across the country. I don't think he ever realized the greatness that everyone else saw in him. He always just looked at himself as just a plain average person. <laughs> he would go in quorums and have breakfast. He'd go to Captain Anderson's and have dinner. Services for Coach Bowden will be held this weekend. For more details, go to our website at mypanhandle.com. High school.